Hi guys, today I'm going to be showing you a quick and easy tutorial on how to make a GFX on Roblox. And um, disclaimer, this will only work on computer, but if you want me to make a mobile version, I can. It won't be the same quality, but I can try. Also, this video was inspired by Toast and Cookburger, so go check out their channels. They're super good, and yeah. Also, all links to download stuff will be in the description of this video if you're interested. So let's get right into the tutorial. So the first thing you're going to want to do is open up Roblox Studio and just go into Base Plate. So now I'm just clicking plugins at the top of my screen and pressing load character. And for me, I'm just doing my username, which is nearly love. And also to delete the base plate, you just right click on your mouse and delete it. Make sure spawn origin is checked and you want to spawn R15 when you have your username or whoever you're making the GFX of. So once you spawn your character in, it'll kind of be in the floor, at least it was for me, so I just move it onto the actual floor. You're going to want to click Animation Editor, and then select your character, and press Select. And then now you'll be in this little animation thing, and you can select your character, and you can pose your character however you want. I just like tilted mine's head a little bit, and then had it do a wave, but it's really up to you how you want to do it. So this is how mine turned out and it looks like my screen glitched a little bit here but once yours is done you want to press home and make sure anchor is selected and you can go back to plugins click animation editor and it'll say like your animation will be gone but it won't actually so don't be worried and then you're going to want to export your character so you're going to right click your character's name and then you're going to see this on your screen and you're going to want to click export selection so now i just saved mine with whatever name you want it to be called so now once you've exported it, we can close this out and head over to Blender Lightroom. So once you open Lightroom, it should look something like this. And to get your character in there, what you're going to want to do is press File, and then Import, Wavefront OBJ. And now click Desktop, and you'll see some things that says MTL and OBJ. You always want to pick the OBJ one. You press Import OBJ, and then you'll see your character. So now that you have your character loaded in, you're going to want to press this button in the top right hand corner. And this will kind of show some of the colors of your avatar. So to move the angle of what you want your GFX to look like, you want to click View, Navigation, and Walk Navigation. And now you can maneuver your screen to how you want the final product to look. So you see this square moving around, that's what the actual GFX will look like. So I'm just capturing it so that my Roblox character's face is looking directly at the camera. So now I'm going to work on the lighting of this GFX and the lighting is up to you what colors you want to make it and stuff like that my character was red so I mostly did some red colors if you're confused on how to find this coloring option you want to click lights and then the little red checkered ball which I'm about to show another super important step is if you want your GFX to look glossy or shiny you want to click your character's name and then that red checkered ball again if it's not already selected and you go down to where it says roughness and you put that all the way to zero and then now you bring the metallic up to however much you want I usually do about 200 but you can do more or less depending on how shiny you want it but don't do too much else it starts looking kind of weird so now once you're all done you just want to render it so you click render image and your GFX will pop up here and it takes a second to finish rendering so but you can check this like little blue bar here once it fills up then it's all done so once it's done you select image save as and then you can name it whatever you like I just named it tutorial PNG and then you click save as image and now I'll go over to photo P so photo P is this super cool online app to edit your GFX it's free and you don't need an email or anything so you just drag your file into where it says drop any files here and then your character will open up. Now you can right click on where it says background and select blending options. So you can do whatever you want here. You can do a stroke which kind of outlines your avatar. I don't really do those that much but if that's something you want you can. When I do I usually just do like a tiny white line around it which looks pretty cool. I personally just do an inner glow and an outer glow usually. So for inner glow, I'm going to do red because 
that's the main color of my GFX, but you can do whatever color you want. And I turn the size up, but it's basically just messing with it to see what looks good. And then I put the opacity down. And that's the final settings I used for the inner glow. Now I go over to outer glow and I think I did red again, yeah. Again, you can play around with what colors you like and settings to see which looks better. I actually ended up doing orange here, so it's really just a matter of playing around with it to see what looks the best for your GFX. So once you're finished in Photo P, you want to click File, Export As, and PNG. And then just click Save. So now you're going to go over to Canva, which is free, you just have to make an email or like sign in with an email. And you can press Create Design, I imported the file. And then it will ask you for a size, I just did a thousand by a thousand. And then Create New Design. So here your character will pop up, and this is where we'll work on the background of the GFX, and like, if you want to have a little watermark on your GFX. Also you can search up on your browser Ray Background, which is in a lot of GFXs, so here I just looked up Red Ray Background. And then you can just copy the image and then bring it back and paste it. So now I'm just going to speed this up a little so you can watch me kind of edit the background. Also this elements tab or whatever is a super good place to look up like stars or hearts or rays, splashes, bubbles, whatever, and you can look up whatever you want, so that's super helpful. If you're interested in how to add text, it's pretty simple. You just go to text. I picked the glow option and just typed nearly and sized it down a little, I think. And you can change the colors to whatever you want. And there's a ton of fonts. Um, I was very indecisive with the font. I went through like 300. I ended up with this, and now looking back, I don't really like the font, but whatever. So once it's done, it's pretty simple to export it. You just click share in the top right, and then download. So that's how you can make your very own GFX. If you guys have any questions for me, feel free to leave them in the comments. I'll definitely answer. If you guys have any questions about any of the apps or any links, anything, I'll be sure to answer. Please leave a like and a subscribe, it really helps me out, and if you guys have any other video ideas, if you want to see something like this on mobile. Anyways, that's going to be it for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.